Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Rumi and today I am going to be sharing with you my amazing recipe to make these awesome looking chicken momos. Chicken momos are exactly like dumplings but they taste quite different and, and I'm sure you, you guys will love it if you love dumplings. So yeah, this is my very easy uh, chicken momos recipe which I love a lot. And I'm very excited to share it with all of you foodies out there. So yeah, if you guys want to know more, keep on watching. I want to give some color to my momos. That's why I'm using turmeric. Now we'll make a good dough out of it. And that is how my dough looks. My sous chef is making the rotis today. You can use a rolling pin or a pizza roller to make these flat rotis. That's how our first roti looks like. You have to make it a little bit on the thicker side because uh, when you make small, small um, mini rotis out of it and when you put the filling, it doesn't break. That's my mini roti number one, two, and three. So um, we got three mini rotis out of one big. And that's how our first batch of mini rotis looks like. I have used three teaspoon, uh, three tablespoon of oil. To it, I will add one small teaspoon of cumin seeds, one small teaspoon of mustard seeds. Let them sizzle for a bit. And now I'll add half chopped onion. After that, I am using two pods of garlic and half inch of ginger and let them cook for one to two minutes until the raw smell goes off half teaspoon of turmeric powder one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of garam masala and let it cook for about a minute and to this I will add about one pound of ground chicken and now I'll cook it covered for next 20 minutes our filling and the chicken looks pretty good it's totally cooked and now I'll turn off the heat and let it to cool down because after this, we have to put this chicken in the um, in the mini rotis, so I'll let it cool down. Since my cooking pan was very hot, I decided to transfer all the uh, chicken into a wide mouth container like this, so that it cools down quickly. So while this um, chicken is getting cooled down, I am um, I will suggest start making your rotis simultaneously because then it would save a lot of time and you can have your mini rotis ready and as soon as it's cooled down you can start putting the um, you can start putting this inside your mini rotis and start cooking the momos and now to steam the momos i'm using this kind of a setup if you don't have something similar you can also use your idli stands so i'll go ahead and show you what i am using so this is the same pan where I cooked all my ground chicken. So there I'll put water 
and on top of it i will put this pan uh, which is also uh, known as the vegetable steamer on top of it i will use this lid only thing you have to keep in mind is that when you put your steamer on top of this pan your water should be below the steamer it shouldn't be coming out of it otherwise your momos will become really soggy and now i will let this water boil for a few minutes So now I'll show you how to make these momos. So take one mini roti and here put some filling. So by the way, this is totally um, cooled off now. And now you have to close it. Do it very gently. So that's how my first momo looks like. So now if you guys have this kind of dumpling shaper, it's very easy and quick to make momos. So I'll go ahead and show you how to use this one. So just as before, take one mini roti, place it inside the dumpling maker, some of the chicken filling inside and close it. So you have to keep in mind that the chicken is not coming out and there you go and take out the excess and now gently go ahead and open it so that's how my second dumpling looks like with the help of this amazing dumpling maker so that is how my first batch of momos look like ready so yeah let's go ahead and okay so they look completely done that's my first one and those are my first batch of momos completely cooked wow it looks so amazing. And those are my second batch of momos. And now I'll go ahead and remove them one by one. And done. So in the first batch, I had 13 momos in total. Let me go ahead and tell you how many do I have this time. So I have 16 momos in my second batch. So yeah, these are my momos completely done after being properly steamed and you can eat these either with, with ketchup or any other kind of chutney like mint chutney or coriander chutney here i'm here i'm going to have my momos with shezwan sauce uh, so i have made it few days before um, and this tastes amazing guys it's quite spicy but you can use less chilies if you want to make it less spicier so yeah that's all for today i hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed making these momos so if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like button share it with all your friends and family and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching guys until next time, bye-bye and have a beautiful day ahead and stay safe.